In this exercise, we'll be doing this basic spin. You'll probably make things spin and rotate about a zillion times throughout your career. It's really important though that you understand that rotation is a frame property. Let me show you how we set this up. All right, and now to do the spin, I'm gonna to go to the library. I want you to notice that the ball that I'm using here is a little bit different. It's hard to tell when a solid circle is spinning, so I made it two-toned here. So I'll go to my align panel again. What's that keyboard shortcut? Oh yeah, command K. And I'm just going to boom, boom, center it perfectly. And now to spin it, again, this is a little bit different and we haven't done this before. I don't want it to move anywhere, but I still need an ending keyframe. So I'm going to click on frame 20, hit F6 to add a new keyframe. Now, when I add a classic tween here, I'm gonna do create classic tween. Now, in frame 20, once that tween is in place, or even before, you know, I could rotate it a little bit like that, and I would get a basic rotation. But let me just undo that, Command Z or Control Z. But in Animate, if we want to rotate it a certain number of times, um, what we're going to do is go to frame one, go to the properties panel, and here you'll see that rotation or rotate is a property of the frame, okay? If I click on the symbol, I'm gonna get symbol properties, okay? It's a graphic, it's an instance of ball, but I'm gonna click on the frame to make sure I have the properties panel open. It tells me I'm getting the properties of a frame here. And by rotate, I'm going to say clockwise and we're going to do it one time, okay? So now when I run this by hitting return, you'll see that it spins around one time. If I go back to frame one and I say, let's rotate that clockwise, uh, I can make that two times, let's run, and then now you'll see it spins twice. So it's important to note that rotation is a frame property. Now I can also move this and rotate it at the same time. So here's a little trick in frame number one, I'm just gonna go back and drag this thing off stage, go to frame 20, move it over here. And so now you'll see that when I play this, we're actually gonna do a move and spin, okay? Pretty cool. If I think it's moving too fast or too slow, I can add more frames. So remember the trick for that? F5, right? That's gonna add frames. So hitting F5 is going to add frames to that span. So I'm going to have more time now for this to move and rotate. If I go back to frame number one, there we go, nice smooth rotation and movement. So hopefully you can see that even though we're doing these very simple animations and short little lessons, um, we're going over the basics, we're refreshing ourselves, and we're also learning some new things, all right? So it's important to, to watch every video regardless of how simple it might be from the beginning, all right? I'm going to always be going over the basics and adding new things for you, all right? So again, it's important to crack open that start file and build this animation for yourself, all right? You can watch me do it and think you know what's going on, but really, it's not until you open up the file build these tweens that you're going to build the confidence that you'll be able to do this stuff quickly in the future. All right. So give it a shot. It's only going to take you like three minutes. Normal,